Thanks for joining us on our next leg of this trip. Uh, this initial part will show you uh, will show us leaving the Pawnee State Recreational Area um, and then arriving at BC State Recreational Area as well and then final a final stop uh, on this leg is Custard, South Dakota. We stayed at Custer's Gulch. It's a point of reference. Oh, quilt shop. As mentioned previously, we were at Pawnee State Recreational Area. It is a state recreation area in the southeastern Nebraska. The recreation area surrounds the 740-acre Pawnee Lake, located approximately four miles west of Lincoln. And this recreation area is managed by the Nebraska Game and Parks. So we thought to give you a little view of uh, Pawnee State Recreational Area as we're leaving the park. Um, of course, this is sped up. I don't drive this fast. Um, there is a, a lot of campsites. Uh, we were there in uh, early uh, mid-June. Uh, there was a lot of campsites available. And uh, the only downside is, you know, there is no sewer and there's water in the area. So you really have to fill up with water before you get to your site. And uh, the dump stations, though, are way down the road. After you leave the park, you have to travel about two miles down the road. Uh, of course, it was in the opposite direction that we needed to go to uh, to get our uh, tanks dumped because we were going we're going north and the uh, direction of the dump, dump stations are south of that area. But it's a beautiful lake. Um, there is uh, kayaking, fishing uh, activities that you could uh, do. Uh, and the park is very peaceful. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, the light show that the uh, fireflies gave us each night was spectacular. Uh, I was mesmerized by sitting around and watching those fireflies uh, just light up the whole area. So this is exiting the park uh, as we uh, approach the highway. Uh, we had to take a right to go to the dump station. Uh, we actually wanted to go left. That's the direction we were <clears throat> heading, but we had to dump our tanks. So it just happens uh, that the RV that was at the dump station was also going the same direction we were going, so we ended up catching up with them later on. But uh, here's a view of some of the towns uh, that we drove through uh, along our way to uh, Custer uh, and South Dakota. Uh, we we're pretty close to the state park. Uh, we went there after we arrived, but we didn't stay in the state park. Uh, the drive is peaceful and beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of uh, open ground, uh, and very little mountains, so it was very enjoyable uh, to see. So I hope you enjoy this uh, ride, and uh, we'll catch you later. in the area of the Beast State Recreational Area. 
This is where we spent one night. Uh, it's a very nice campground. Um, has water and electricity. Uh, I believe it had sewer. I can't remember quite right now. Um, but we had already paid our fees, so we just drove down to this to our site assignment area. And uh, as you can see, driving through the park, it's about the same, you know, the same kind of look as the Pawnee uh, State Recreational Area. Uh, dirt sites, um, no concrete, but, um, and that's right, they, they did not have sewer. The sewer was right down where we were parked at. There was a uh, sewer drop area. Um, when we left here, we did not dump our tanks because we were going to a uh, private park that we knew that we wouldn't have to, we would have a place to dump our, our tanks there. While there, we did a little uh, a touring around the area. We wanted to go up to uh, the fire station. Uh, we didn't quite make it. The day was getting short, so we turned around and came back. But there is quite a bit of uh, interesting uh, hikes, as well as there is a river there uh, that looks like it's boiling, but it's actually coming out from under the ground. And uh, it's moving too quickly for us. All right, guys, we're in Nebraska. We're in a forest services park. Eleven dollars a night. What is this called? Funny. The, the, we're in Bessie. Bessie. Uh, Bessie Recreational Area. This is the Dismal River. It doesn't look so dismal right now. It says it's only seventy-one point nine miles long. And it is fed by water from the Ogallala Aquifer. The water boils up from beneath the river in places, forming areas of quicksand. Whoa. And I'm looking. See, I'm wondering if that's not what we're seeing. Because they don't move. Can you see just the yeah, right hand I pylons? The, I see the, the bubbling. Well, it's, there's just currents. Yeah, but sometimes it looks like bubbles. So you got some campgrounds that are right here in the loop next to the water. I'm not sure I would go swimming in that water. But it is beautiful and not busy this time of year. Don't know what it will be like later on this weekend. But you're only here for a day. Stop over for one night. Start right there. Stop over for a night and uh, head on over to uh, Custer's Gorge.
hope you enjoyed the ride. Come back next week. And uh, we'll see some of the sites that are available within the Custard Gulch area. There's state parks. There is the um, monuments and some kayaking. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe.